Hi everyone, it's Amanda here from Palmer Health and I just want to do a quick little two minute burn care demonstration. So baby here's just had an accidental burn, pulled on the, on the uh, iron cord and the iron came down and hit her, just like I did when I was a baby. And the first thing we're going to do is cool it down. So I'm going to use saline. Um, I love the eye wash that you get from supermarkets and the pharmacies. Uh, you can make your own saline. You could get some uh, boiling water and to a litre of boiling water, put two heap teaspoons of clean Celtic sea salt or rock salt in there, not table salt. Uh, and you can if you really have to and boil it for at least 10 minutes and then let it cool. Um, at this stage though, we just want to cool the wound with whatever we've got that's cool. If you're at a barbecue and you only have beer, use beer, cool it down first. We can clean up the mess and the infection later on. So I'm just going to cool and cool and cool it here. And I'm going to continue to cool it for about 20 minutes. Uh, anything bigger than the size of a thumb is actually a medical emergency. And instead of looking at burns in degrees these days, we look at it in percentages. And 1% is the size of one's palm. So she has burnt probably 1, 2, 3, 4% of her leg, which is quite substantial. I would always get medical assistance for a burn. So we cool it down for as long as we possibly can. And then we're gonna get cling film from the, from the kitchen or the galley. It's one of the cleanest things on earth. When they back wrap this roll, no bacteria gets trapped inside. So try and keep your hands away from it. And I'm not gonna put it on like a bandage because that could easily cut off the circulation. I'm just gonna place it around the burn like this. So the skin won't stick to it, it's keeping it clean because burns have high infection rates. Remember at the same time that while I'm cooling it down, the baby's going to start getting really cold. So one of the most important things that we found in medicine is that 50% of burns people were actually presenting to the hospital with hypothermia because we're so busy cooling down the wound that we didn't treat the person for shock. So for shock, we're gonna warm them up. So put a blanket on them, lie them down and raise their legs and reassure them. It's okay, baby, and call the ambulance. So just remember your doctor ABC, danger, response, airway, breathing, circulation. The breathing is more important than the wound. We can live without our arms and legs. We can't live without our breath. Make sure you're reassuring the patient the whole time. If you can, have one person reassuring the patient while the other does the dressing. Cool down the wound, not with ice, but with cool fluids, preferably saline or fresh water for at least 20 minutes while warming up the patient, even in, on a warm day. Monitor their breathing, monitor their pulse. Anything bigger than a thumb is a medical emergency. And don't forget to stay safe, stay hydrated, and don't get burnt. <laughs> I hope this helps. Thanks.